Hello everyone, Brian here, and I want to wish all the fathers out there a very happy Father's Day. My wife and I went to go visit my dad for a couple hours today, and we gave him his Father's Day gift, which is thankfully a very easy buy, because he normally just asks for the same thing every time, which is a bottle of Jack Daniels. My dad likes to sit around on the deck of his lake house on the weekends, have a few beers, enjoy the nice weather, and then finish off the evening with a shot before he heads on inside to watch the Phillies game or whatever else may be on TV or on his agenda for the rest of the night. Also, I did want to mention, because many of you may not be aware of it, because he hasn't posted a video probably in almost a month now, that is TS Gameplay had his son, and I know that has been a big life-changing event for him, as it is for most people. And he's been very busy, obviously, and hasn't been able to upload a video recently. So if you guys do follow him and are friends with him, you know, swing by his channel, you know, drop a channel comment on there congratulating him. Or shoot him a private message, as I'm sure he'd appreciate to hear from any of you. And even though my wife and I do not have any children, and we don't plan on having any in the future, we sold by each other Mother's Day and Father's Day gifts. We do have a three-year-old beagle, and he's pretty much our child, and we treat him pretty much the same way as a member of the family, as most of you that have pets probably do as well. So we, you know, call each other mom and dad when it comes to the dog. That was kind of silly, but it's kind of funny at the same time. We enjoy it. Uh, like I said, we buy each other Mother's Day and Father's Day gifts. And this past Mother's Day, um, I picked up a card for, for my wife from the dog, and I wrote a little you know, note in there from the dog to her, you know, thank her for being such a good mommy and everything else and for taking him on walks and whatnot. And I picked up flowers for her and also I got her a hundred dollar gift card to a spa so she can go get a massage or whatever because my wife, you know, works really hard and a lot of days she comes home a little stressed out. So I know she would appreciate, you know, being pampered for a couple hours at a spa. So to return the favor, because my wife is very good to me as well, we tend to spoil each other a lot. Uh, she really did surprise me. I was planning on asking for this for my birthday because I figured that would be a little bit more appropriate since this is a little bit more of an expensive of an item. And I did mention to you guys before that I was considering doing this to add to my channel a little bit so I can do some more things for you that I haven't been able to do due to my current setup. So with that being said, my wife decided she is going to buy me a new TV. So I'm going to pick out a 32 inch flat screen of course. And I'm going to put that upstairs here in my computer room. And then I'm going to move my Xbox and my uh, possibly my PS3, I'm not sure. I may just leave the PS3 downstairs since uh, we do occasionally watch a Blu-ray movie on it. And we're not going to buy a Blu-ray player anytime soon. So I'm going to move my Xbox and my uh, PVR and my headset and everything else upstairs. So once that's all completed, like I said, I'll be able to do a lot of the things I wanted to do all along that I just haven't been able to due to the logistical problems. I so know I haven't done a live stream now in probably, what, almost two months, give or take. And I really enjoy doing them. But when I did them before, I used to have to keep my laptop downstairs. And while I was playing, I wasn't really able to talk to you guys while I played. I was just able to check the chat and, you know, respond to you guys real quick in, in between games through there. Now I'll be able to, like I said, talk to you and you'll be able to hear me talking while I'm playing. I said that I'll obviously add a lot to the live streams. And I'll also be able to do some live commentaries again. Because, like I said, then as well, I would have to take a uh, microphone downstairs to my laptop. And, you know, if there's any, the dog was around or the wife was home or any other noises around. It obviously, it took away from it and distracted me a lot. So, now everything will be upstairs in one room. I can shut the door and hopefully my wife won't hear me if I do get loud and start raging at night. I hope to try to keep that under control or figure out a way to soundproof this room a little bit more. But, hopefully, it doesn't become an issue and she doesn't regret her decision to buy me the TV. So I think I'm going to be doing this and making the move and the switch up to the, the computer room probably in about, I'd say, almost two weeks because my wife and I are going to be going on vacation, finally. Uh, we're going to be leaving sometime this coming week, and we're going to be going to Texas for five days. So once we get back from there, um, we each took the following day off from work. I will swing out. I think she's going to make an appointment for the, the spa day. And I will swing out and buy the TV and try to get behind my massive entertainment center, which you guys saw in my setup video, which I did quite some time ago, and get all those cords and everything else unplugged and get everything set up upstairs. So like I said, I'll do a live stream probably sometime that weekend, hopefully, if all goes according to plan and I have time on my schedule. And ho like I said, maybe I'll be able to do some much more frequently. And even if I'm going to play for just a couple hours, I can just do an impromptu. You know, stream here and there, and just like just keep in touch with you guys a little bit more, and just try to bring some more variety and interaction with you guys throughout my channel. And like I said, do a lot of the things I really wanted to do all along, but just haven't been able to.
Since I mentioned my vacation, let me tell you a little bit about what we have planned for upcoming. Since we haven't been on vacation now in almost four years since our honeymoon, when we went to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic, so it's a long-deserved and long-awaited vacation. We're going to be swinging to Texas, like I said, for about five days. We're going to be spending three days in San Antonio. Uh, we're going to visit some of her family that lives out there on the day we get out there. We're going to check out the river walk, and I'm going to take a nice tour of the Alamo because I am a history buff and I love that kind of stuff so I really want to go out there and see that and then we're going to swing up to Austin for the last couple days because once we're able to financially my wife wants to move out there because she says it's a great town because she went to college there so obviously you know before I make a decision to move it would be best for me to get a tour of the town and see what it's like and what's going on out there and they say it's a live music capital of the world so and it's a really uh, young laid back kind of town so that should suit me just fine so I'm really looking forward to it. We should have a great time. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a video for you while I'm out there because my laptop is almost 10 years old and I really can't handle the editing software like Sony Vegas or anything else. And I really don't have a great camcorder. I do have an iPhone, so I'll see if I can figure out maybe just doing a few couple of minute videos here and there. If not, I'll record some footage while I'm out there, of course, and obviously take a ton of pictures. And I'll do a video for you guys when I get back. But if you want to, follow me on Twitter, because I will try tweeting different things, where I'm at and what I'm doing, and just talking about the area a little bit. So I'll try to do that a little bit while I'm out there as well. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. This video is about to wind down here. For those of you that like to follow it, I do end up getting the final kill cam here in my chopper gunner in just a second. So if you guys wouldn't mind, leave me a rating before you leave. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, I hope you really did enjoy the video. I will talk to all of you soon, and I hope you have a good one.